The Nintendo Switch is nigh after eons of waiting, weathering, the never-ending storm of rumors and speculations, replaying that reveal trailer over and over again for days on end. Nintendo fans can rejoice knowing that we will finally get that mind-blowing, mouth-watering, booty-popping Switch presentation tomorrow. But what can we realistically expect from this reveal? One, let's get the obvious out of the way, release date and price. Assuming Nintendo doesn't troll us and just play that reveal trailer on repeat for 30 minutes straight, expect to at least know when people will be robbing each other in parking lots and how many internal organs you will need to sell for it. Now, according to the internet, which has never lied to me before, it will be released on March 17th and costs 249 US dollars and 99 cents, with possible bundles being released for 299 dollars and 99 cents. This gives you about one month after Valentine's Day to save up for the Switch. If you find yourself unable to set aside the money for the Switch because your girlfriend's too expensive, I strongly suggest reevaluating your relationship. Remember, your girlfriend might have been there for you for a few years, but Nintendo's been there for over 30. Number two, the next obvious thing, the launch window games. I'm expecting a butt ton of easy cash in ports. Splatoon, Super Smash Bros, Super Mario Maker, Super Mario Kart, Uncharted 4, the list goes on. There's millions of gamers out there who skip the Wii U and will buy these games. Hell, there's millions of gamers out there that bought a Wii U and will buy these games again. You fanboys and you fangirls know exactly who you are. And don't worry, I won't judge you. I might just be the biggest fanboy of us all. As for new games, be on the lookout for Breath of the Wild, a new 3D Mario, and either a new IP or an old IP fans have been begging for, as long as it's not F-Zero. Those are the only things to truly expect from this presentation. Anything from here on out is just stuff I would like to see in the presentation. So in order to keep your hype in check, you can go ahead and stop watching the video now. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. All right, now that we've weeded out all the scrubs, let's get real hypothetical with this. Number three, modern-ish online features. We all know how afraid Nintendo is of the internet, but it is now 2017. Nintendo can no longer ignore basic online features that its competition has had for over a decade. I am hoping to see voice chat achievements and a halfway decent virtual console lineup that includes GameCube games. I'm really only expecting one of these three things to actually happen. If we get all three, I will personally pick you up from your house on the Nintendo hype train so we can go kick all the kids and parents out of the way so we can get our Switch at launch. Number four, third party exclusives and partnerships. What does a light switch do? It turns on lights. What does a Nintendo Switch do? I'm not too sure yet, but hopefully it turns on third parties. I can already picture Japanese and indie companies swan diving into the colorful world of Nintendo, possibly giving us exclusive games and content. Western companies will probably sit at the edge and dip their feet in the water. But if Nintendo sets that Switch mood just right, they can probably finesse them into that blue ocean that they love so much. Number 5. VR, Motion, and Touchscreen Controls Put your tinfoil hats on, boys and girls, because we are about to enter the twilight realm of Switch possibilities. Those Joy-Con controllers that just happened to slide off should remind you of something. Something that was really popular for a couple of years. Something that got your grandpa to play games. Something that, in the wrong hands, broke TVs. The famous, or infamous, Wiimote. Don't be surprised if those Joy-Con controllers have gyro controls for motion-based gaming. I mean, how else are they going to sell us Wii Sports? Again, as for VR, there is a patent that Nintendo filed for a Switch headset similar to the ones that they use for smartphones. It may or may not be used, but Nintendo is keeping their options open to have this be the jack-of-all-trades console. And the touchscreen is just obvious. If it doesn't have a touchscreen, I will chug a bottle of maple syrup. Why? To try and win over my Canadian crush. And because maple syrup is just awesome. So there you have it folks, a full comprehensive list of what to expect from Nintendo's presentation tomorrow from a certified Nintendo fanboy. You can see it, this is my certificate, clearly I know what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and if I get any of this wrong or I'm off by a little bit, just remember, I'm just some guy on the internet.